I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. tired souls out there and I'm sure millions of you are many of you are number one you're not homeless number two you're not poor number three you're not dumb you're not ignorant you're not ugly you're not unqualified you're not stupid you're none of those things If those things have been spoken upon you as curses or even planted within you by the seed of sin, meaning your own flesh will put you down, you must resist the devil and he will flee from you. And you must rebuke the devil and he will flee from you. But you must also crucify your own flesh, which is your internal enemy of negative thoughts, negative seeds. All of that stands in opposition with God Almighty. Because you are wonderfully made, beautifully fashioned in the image of the Almighty God. And if you trust and believe in Jesus Christ until you breathe your last breath, there's a mansion somewhere, made up in glory, stored up in God's kingdom just for you. Your house, your wealth. Why? Because he died for you and because you were faithful to him even to death. I hope this has been a word of encouragement for somebody out there. Don't fear death. Death is under your foot. It's under your feet. Your victory is in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And now you know the way to the Father. God bless you all. Until next time.